Hi my little hearts, welcome back again. Uh, this would be the second, uh, sorry, video for the second standard that uh, we are going to start a new lesson in this video that is about the cloths we wear. Okay, then we know that we wear very different different cloths uh, every day and even when we were very small the cloths were different and when we are big cloths are different like this. And even your grandmother wears the different cloth, your mother wears the different cloth like this. Uh, in this, first of all, we will learn why do we wear the cloth. Okay, this is a simple question. You already know answer for this. Why do we wear the cloth? We want to protect our body from the rain, from the sun uh, hot and from the dust, from the air and from the um hotness and the dust and other bacteria they should not touch our body isn't it we want to protect our body from these awful things because of this we wear the cloths then have have uh, we wear uh, we wear the same cloths through, throughout our life or uh, the same cloths in the in the houses where our house line is there the whole line wears the same cloth no depending upon our taste depending upon our choices we have the different colors different materials of cloths how they are made okay then cloths why we are wear this one we got already then what are the types of the cloth as i told you the different material will be there different um, uh, colors will be there and different um, like material will be there then depending upon that material we divide the cloths into types of cloths like for example we have the different seasons right for example we will get the summer season and we will get the rainy season and then we will get the winter season then in all these three seasons we are going we are preferring the different type of the cloths of course a cloth is a cloth but types the its variety and its um yeah, its variety will be different from one variety to another variety. For example, in the summer, we prefer the cotton cloths because these cotton cloths will uh, help to uh, keep our body cold or cool. So, as it will be the summer, it will be very hot outside, then these cotton cloths will keep our body cool or cold. So, because of this, we prefer cotton cloths in the summer season. Then, how the cotton will come? From where the cotton will come? We all know that cotton will come from the cotton plants. There will be cotton plants. We remove the cotton and seeds and then uh, for ginning mill and then uh, the small thread. And again, fabric like this. By weaving, the, we will get the fabric like this. Of course, you have this like the, uh, this process lesson in, in the, uh, I think, third standard. Okay, we will learn in the third standard. So, like this, the cotton will come from the cotton plants. And cotton cloths we use in the summer season because these type of cloths will maintain our body cool or cold. And then, this just like this, we are going to use the woolen cloths. We prefer the woolen cloths during the winter and at the cold places um, cold places where the ice uh, snowfall will be there and it will be very cold so in like this places we prefer the woolen cloths we know that the muffler scarf and the sweater and the jerkin uh, sorry huh, jerkin whatever we use type of this cloths these all are very thick and they are they keep our body very hot because the quality of the woolen, the type of the woolen, uh, type of the cloth, the woolen, it has that uh, uh, important characteristics that it helps to maintain our body, maintain our body temperature. That it means what? Uh, outside coldness is not at all going to affect our body if we wear the sweater, if we are the monkey cap or if we are the muffler, scarf, the outside coldness will not enter our ears or will not touch our head part also this part also so because of this we wear the woolen cloths during the winter and the cold place in that cold places then how do this woolen come from we all know that woolen will come from the sheep goat camel 
of course by using this uh, the hair on these animals no we will take this hair and in the factory the woolen sweater woolen muffler woolen this um, cap will be prepared and it will be made and it will be sold for other human body to maintain their health uh, in the winter and in the cold season and after this even uh, the third season is rainy season we all know that in the during the rainy season we use the rain coat we use the gum shoe gum shoe uh, boots and we use the umbrellas isn't it and even yeah of course rain coats also we use and the materials which are waterproof we use those materials because those uh, type of cloth is like a waterproof it will not uh, become wet in the uh, uh, in the um, during the rain or in the uh, um, it's when it's raining it will not become the wet the down part of the umbrella will be not wet it will keep it will not allow to rain to drop on our head if we hold the umbrella like this so because of this even if we use the rain coat even the end water will not enter to the body if we use the polythene some other bags and some other like um, big covers if we use those all are waterproof materials they will not allow the water to enter our body or to enter inside so like this this is what the quality of that cloth that we, which is waterproof material and which not does not allow the water to enter the inside so this is how the we use different different uh, type of um, cloths in a different different season children in this video we have discussed what is cloths and what are the different types of the cloths i hope you all have understood this one and in the next video we will continue the next part of this one okay before ending this i would like to give you homework um, that uh, write down why why do we need the cloths and what are the different types of the cloths okay you have to write in brief all the answers whatever we have discussed i hope you will do this homework and uh, uh, let's meet in the next video till then take care of yourself and bye bye